few months ago, Cooler Master had released this new cooler. This is the Master Air G200P. It is, as the name suggests, is a low profile uh, cooler with two heat pipes. So first thing first, I need to let you guys know, you don't have need to have a high expectation for this cooler because the main purpose of this cooler is to be low profile. So this is a cooler for those uh, who want to build a low profile PCs like a uh, small form factor box and things like that. So today I actually tested the G200P uh, against the other two uh, AMD stock coolers, the Rave Spire and the Rave Self. And yeah, first thing first, when you got the box, it's a very small box and you unbox it, you get the cooler and the 92 millimeter fan and of course some accessories like the mounting kit for Intel and AMD and as well as a inline RGB controller as well as a 4-pin Molex power supply for your RGB lighting in case your motherboard don't have any sort of a RGB header you can use this yes I actually mounted the G300P to our test bench over here and Boy oh boy, that mounting solution is so troublesome. If I count it correctly, you will probably have to touch about 14 or 16 screws just to mount this cooler to the motherboard. First, you need to have the standoff mounted to the back plate and then put to the back of the motherboard. And then four screws to tighten the back plate to the motherboard. And then uh, some sort of uh, this special adapter to it then you have to screw another four screw to mount this adapter to the two standoffs over there because you know the heat sink itself there's only two holes for you to screw in so that means at this point we already use up uh, eight screws and we still haven't got the heat sink onto it now you put a heat sink to the top of that two screws to secure the heat sink to the bracket itself and then another four screw to secure the fan to the heat sink. So that's about 14 screws, if my math is correct. Uh, 4, 4, 8, 10, 14, yes, that's 14 screws. Cooler Master, I think you can do better than that. Even stock coolers only use four screws and you're ready to go. So yeah. But despite all the trouble, does it actually perform that well when it comes to temperature? So in this test band, we're using this cooler on our Ryzen 7 1700. I know it's a first gen, but you get the idea. As for the fan, because it's like 92 millimeter fan, uh, it's RGB. Unfortunately, I don't really think it is a very powerful fan for that. So based on our test, you can see here is that um, the stock cooler from AMD, the Rave Stealth is coming, performing pretty decent at 65 degrees maximum when we tested uh, IDA64, uh, really punishing the CPU itself. When we change to Rave Spire, the temperature is about like 57 degrees Celsius. So stock coolers are performing really decent and very well. However, when we mount the G200P on our CPU, um, it kind of gets a little bit toasty. Maximum temperature comes at about 71 to 72 degrees Celsius. Well, that is kind of hot for the AMD Ryzen 7 1700. Uh, of course, this is the kind of stuff you are sacrificing when it comes to low profile. Because look at the height of the cooler. I'm not sure you can look on here. Is that it is about the same height as our PNY Accelerate RAMs. So you can sort of uh, guess how you can put this kind of uh, cooler into your low profile PC builds especially those uh, NUX you know realistically speaking uh, this is not a practical way to, to build a PC you see this kind of chunky GPU over here so this cooler I would say it is best to pair it with an AMD APU such as the Ryzen 3 uh, 3200 or 3400 
G, which has built in uh, Vega graphics. That means that you can actually like build a very small PC with the CPU, uh, decent CPU and decent GPU for let's say your HT PC or even office or home PC, something like that. In terms of the cooling performance, it is not that good. Last but not least, the price of the Cooler Master Master Air G200P. It is retail at 159 ringgit Malaysia. Of course, you can find cheaper from some shops, but the pricing is about that. Um, for the price and you're getting this kind of low profile, I believe this is quite reasonable for this thing. Uh, however, if you really have a stock cooler and unless your case is very restrictive and you really cannot use even the stock cooler, then maybe you can opt for this one. Otherwise, uh, well, this is a really niche product and even though it comes with RGB support, well, the fan itself is not really that attractive. Um, yeah, it's a very niche product to be say so. So, what do you guys think about the Cooler Master Master Air G200E? Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.